Oh, it does taste a lot with of of vanilla. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the second Irish whiskey on the cask and it's the Jameson Black Barrel. As you can see here, maybe you can't see it right now. There's a bit of black at the black. First I thought, hmm, maybe I got a, uh, one of the damaged wares from our, from our warehouse, but then I looked inside the cask and here's a bit of black. And the same black is on the label here, the black barrel. So I think that's marketing. I think that black stuff on there is marketing. So we do know a lot about Jameson. If you know, want to know more about Jameson, then please feel free to go to whiskey.com. We have a whole, a whole page on Jameson. It tells you about, all about the history and all about the stuff at Jameson. What is this bottle? It's a 40% ABV, 80 proof bottle. Unfortunately, it is colored. It is chill filtered. It's a blend between grain and Pottsdale whiskey. It is a variety of whiskey casks. It's American uh, oak casks. It's sherry casks, therefore European sherry casks. And what they also have is their black barrel. And the black barrel is, um, how did they say, they charred it twice. A tribute to the legacy of charring barrels before filling them. Our Coopers called it bringing the wood back to life. Black Barrel features double charred bourbon barrels that deliver unique spiciness, vanilla sweetness and nutty notes. So I know a bit uh, and it's triple distilled. That's all the Jameson whiskeys are triple distilled. I know a bit of uh, about the, the maturation and charring the barrels is not adding that much of taste. Charring barrels comes, um, the charcoal, when you char it, becomes charcoal. That's why you call it charring. And the charcoal actually filters the, the unwanted substances out of the whiskey. Um, so they actually, yeah, take the, the very sharp notes out of it. If you, let's say, have a, a whiskey with the Lincoln County uh, process, a Tennessee whiskey, Jack Daniels, George Dickel, they disease kinds, uh, they actually do have a charcoal filtering process after the distilling. So they have even less of these sharp flavors and that's what they want to achieve with the, with the double charring. So, um, but when you char, you do heat the barrel as well. And with the heating of the barrel, that's, it's a bit similar to toasting. The toasting adds a lot of flavor to the barrel and then therefore the whiskey, because the toasting is a heating process. You just heat the barrel, you don't flame it. Um, that caramelizes the sugars inside the staves. And this caramelized sugars that actually gets out of the pores as well and that's being diluted by the whiskey gives the whiskey the caramel color natural caramel color usually and that also gives them the the vanilla and the caramel taste that they write here on as well so maybe they have a different type of charring with that uh, double char i don't know in the end, it's all about the taste. So let's have it. it has a, a nice secure plastic cap on it. And a, and a stopper on it. Ooh. It's not that big, but it's, the hole is very gracious. No, is it gracious or? You know, when you give a lot. <laughs> oh, it does taste a lot with of, of vanilla. You do get a, a good kind of bourbon smell in there. But 
you know, with all the, the grain spirits, it's, you do realize that it's a, a bit flatter. Mmm. Oh, it's a, mm, yeah, it has this, this Irish flavor. It's, you do really realize it's, it's round. You get them, the distillery character of this triple distilled whiskey. You do have caramel, you do have vanilla and a bit of a chocolatey bitter flavor as well. So guess that's the European sherry casks but it's it's a, a very creamy buttery feeling when you try it mm. It's a good balance. It's a, it's a well-balanced whiskey. You do have a bit of nuttiness as well. Mm, very, very, very light fruitiness, but still a bit of a chocolate bitterness going on and vanilla and caramel. Not as strong as with, with the, the bourbons you might know, but a, a subtle character that lets through other spices and other flavors as well. Mm. I think it's a, a well-balanced whiskey. Fits good into the Jameson range. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, we have tons of more videos on our whiskey channel. So if you know any whiskey you want to know anything about, then please feel free to go on our channel. Just type the name of the whiskey in and you will probably find it on our channel. Thank you very much for watching.